Hey, it's Mars, and this is Let's Make a Dungeon Crawler Part 10. In this video, we'll be making a melee attack for our zombie character here. Let's start off by going to Play Game Skills. I'll hit the plus button and rename it to Enemy Melee. And I'm naming it Enemy Melee as opposed to Zombie Melee because the more generic we can make this skill, the more NPCs we can give it to. Our execution time is how long the zombie, in this case, will be rooted in place. He won't be able to move while he's executing his skill. So we'll keep him still for one second. And the cooldown time, I'll start with zero so he can continue to attack after he's finished. And I'll set auto cue so that as long as he can see us, he'll be trying to attack us. The target method is not auto, so I'll uncheck that, and I'll set it to selected, as when we get near our enemy, if our factions are hostile, he selects me, and the valid targets will be player, and we're also a hostile actor, so I'll check that as well. He's attacking in the selected direction, and we need a hit delay. Otherwise, as soon as we get near the enemy, our health will go down, even before he swung his arm towards us. So let's find the hit delay now. I'll go to his animator and drop in a attack animation. And in the animation, we get a preview down here. And I can see we, we want to take damage right about here. So that's frame 23 of his animation. So since this is a 30 frame per second animation, we will do 23 divided by 60 times 2. So we should wait 0.76 seconds for his hand to get to this position for us to take damage from the attack. So hit delay 0.76 and I want him to be no further away than 1.5 units. Now we need to add ply blocks to this attack. So we will go to RPG, Skill, On Skill Activate. And now we want to play the animation. But we're not going to use the Play Mechanism Animation block. We're going to set a trigger parameter. And I'll show you why in just a moment. This will be called attack, and then our on skill activate comes with a few temporary variables. We'll be using skill owner, which is a temporary game object. So we'll go to variables and use a get temp game object, and that was skill owner with a capital O. And let's set up that trigger right now. So we go back to our animator. And I want any state that's any animation that's currently playing, or even if you're in the middle of a transition, I want to be able to go back to an attack. And the condition will be a parameter of trigger attack. So now on the transition, our condition is attack. And when attack is finished, we will go back to idle, and I'll leave has exit time on. Now we need to take damage from this attack, so I will go back to the attack supply blocks, and we will go to skill on skill hit. And now, what if the player was within 1.5 units of the enemy, so the enemy started to attack, but during that 0.76 seconds, we ran away. We, st we don't want to take damage now that we're no longer near the enemy, so we need to check how close the player is before we reduce the player's health. So let's go to flow if, and we will use a less than or equal to b, and now we want to get the distance, so that's math 
vector 3, distance. And we want the distance between, and this block wants a vector 3, so I will go to object, and let's use get position. And that's the world position of the skill owner, which is a temporary game object. And the, I'll copy and paste this, world position of hit object. Or I guess we could use the player block, but I'll, I'll use the temporary game object, hit object. So now, when we hit something, if the distance between us and them is less than or equal to, we'll use a common float of 1.5. Now we can reduce the player's health, or the hit object's health. Uh, I'll just use the player block because that's the only thing the zombie will be attacking for right now. We'll go to character, change attribute, consumable value health, and let's change the health by negative 5, and I'll just use hit object. Just in case you want zombies to attack NPCs uh, in your game. Alright. Now let's do... Actually, let's give that a shot and see how it looks. Did we do everything? Yeah? Ah! Okay, so now we need to go to our Zombies Actor con um, component and add the skill. And lastly, we need to tell the zombie to use the skill. So we'll go to Add Component and give him a Ply Blocks. And then we will do RPG, well, now an actor has what's called a think interval. So every one second we could trigger, we could trigger ply blocks. And to do that we would do ply RPG NPC on AI think. And that would run once a second. But remember, we set our skill to auto queue. So all we have to do is RPG actor on actor makes selection. So when we get near the enemy, the enemy will select us, and then we'll go to character use skill, and the zombie will use skill enemy melee. And that should auto queue and continue to attack us. Let's see if it works. That's all for this one. Thank you so much for watching, and if you learned something, hit that like button. Join me next time where we will make a player attack skill to defend against this enemy.